Hello guys, welcome back to Analytics with PM. So in this video, I will tell you about the pagination part of the table visual inside a Power BI. So, and the table visual will look like this. So this kind of pagination I have created with the help of a button slicer, table visual and some measures. So stay connected with this video. Step by step, I will tell you how I have created this kind of pagination inside a Power BI. So when you are going to present this kind of pagination in front of a client, so they are going to say, wow, it's amazing. So stay connected with this video. So guys, let's back to screen. So I've already opened a Power BI desktop. So let me import the orders table which I have saved in my desktop. So let me click on the Excel workbook. Okay, this one is our file which we are going to import. Okay, it is having the sheet one. Let me load it. okay we have loaded our table so this one is our table it is having order id order date customer name product quantity unit price per unit total amount and status okay here i need one more column as an index column so let me go to the transformation and let me add one index column here okay starting from one okay let me close and apply it okay we are having this index column okay now let me go and create a table visual so our table is created let me add the columns okay first of all i need order id customer name product quantity status and total amount okay these items i need to show here i don't need the count here i need don't summarize okay sum of quantity status and sum of amount okay now it is done now let me do some of the formatting for this table visual okay let me go to the uh, format option okay let me open the grid horizontal as well as vertical okay style we should choose as let me put all these columns in the middle product also and the last sum of amount okay header should be bold okay 
okay now let me add the index column also i don't need the sum okay let me short it by ascending order okay okay now our table is created uh, let me switch on the border okay now our table is created now okay now let me create a calculated table which will identify the number of rows we have in a table and number of records we want to display in this paginated table new table okay let me name it as a page navigation is equal to here we are going to use some of the variables first we need to get the total number of rows so the variable i am using as a total rows and here i am using a count rows function to get the number of rows count rows sheet 1 okay now the next variable i am going to use as a page size here i am going to give the hard coded value as 20 okay i am going to display the 20 records per page so i have given the hard coded value as a 20 you can also uh, give any of the numbers just like 10 20 30 40 any numbers which you want to give okay now the next variable which i am going to use as a total pages so we will get the total pages by dividing the total rows by page size okay now in return statement i need to generate a series add column generate series okay so our starting value will be 1 and end value will be the total pages the variable which we have created the increment value will be 1 okay now our next column will be minimum And here I am going to write some logic. So basically, value. So this value we will get from this output. Generate series output uh, we will get as a value. Okay, I am going to explain this all DAX with the help of one example. So stay connected with this video. Okay, here what logic? I have written value minus 1 into page size plus 1 and what will be the max value max will be the minimum of value the output from generate series into page size and
and total rows. Okay, so we got our table. So basically, this one is our okay. So this one is our value. So it, it is showing the pages. Page one will be having a one to twenty rows. The minimum will be one, and the maximum will be twenty. Page two will be having from twenty one to forty. Page three will be having from forty one to sixty, and so on. Okay, so let me explain this whole. Uh, Dax with the help of one example. Okay, so here I have created one Excel sheet in which I am going to show you. So basically, total rows is our count of rows. The total rows we are having in our table, and the page size I am going to give the hard code value as a twenty. You can also give ten, twenty, thirty, any number which you want to show, which you want to show in your table. And the total pages I will get from dividing total rows by the page size. Okay, and the return statement I have added the three columns: the value, minimum, and the maximum. So basically, what uh, this is going to give generate series. Okay, so basically generate series. If I have given one five one, so it will uh, generate the series with the values of one two three four and five. So basically. Uh, it will increment by one only. So for to the page one, the uh, logic we have written value minus one into page size plus one. Okay, for to the page one, if the value I have taken as one and uh, it is subtracting by one into page size. Page size basically uh, we have page size as twenty. So I have written as twenty plus one. So it is giving as one. Okay, for to the page two, what I have given for to the page two, the value will be two minus one into twenty plus one, so it will give as twenty one. So page one will start from one and in it will end to twenty, and the page two will start from twenty one and it will end on forty. Okay. So the max column will fetch only the minimum value so that it does not exceed the total number of rows. So, for example, if I have taken the minimum value as five and the total page size is twenty, five into twenty is equal to hundred. So, and total number of rows is going to be one twenty. So it will pick only the minimum value that is hundred. Okay. So this is for to for to the DAX. Okay, now let's move to the our next step. So the next step is to add a slicer. So basically, I'm using a button slicer. Okay, and I'm going to give the value in the field section. Okay, so basically, it is. Uh, Uh, giving a scroller, so we have to modify it. We have to do some of the formatting. Just like first of all, we have to remove the title, and in the slicer selection, the single select must be on. And uh, let me go to values. Okay, values should be in the middle, and the values should be bold. Okay, and in layout, so max row I am going to show as a one, and the columns I am going to show as ten. Okay, let me adjust it a little bit. Okay, still you are showing, still you are seeing that it is having a slice, it is having a scroller, so we need to avoid it. We need. to go to the overflow and for to the continuous we have to select the paginated and flow direction will be horizontal okay okay now we have created this let me align some down
so basically you are seeing that whenever i am clicking on to the pages it is not giving it is not interacting with our table visual okay so here we need to create one more measure so okay so let's go and create one more new measure i'm going to name it as a slice selection is equal to min value okay let me use one variable min value is equal to selected value of page navigation min and variable max value is equal to selected value of page navigation max value okay variable index value is equal to selected value of sheet 1 index okay and in return statement we are going to write if condition if index value is greater than or equal to min value and index value is less than or equal to max value then one or zero okay so basically we are creating one flag if the index value is greater than or equal to the minimum value and index value is less than or equal to max value then it will give as one else it will give as zero okay okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to select this table visual and in the filter section i'm going to add this slicer selection is one and apply setting okay so now you can see okay so basically you can see now when i am clicking on second it is giving from 21 to 22 when i'm clicking on third fourth and so on okay so for to the first page it is giving the values from 1 to 20 now what we can do for to the page navigation we have created the page size for 20 if i am giving as 10 it will generate the series for 10 it will show only 10 records for page 1 for page 2 it will show 10 records okay so with the help of a button slicer we can interact our table visual by creating some of the measures and we can create this type of pagination so it is looking very perfect and now let me give us 20 you can also add some colors in the back end of this uh, slicer button and also you can add the color coding inside the back end of this uh, table visual thank you for watching this video please like comment and subscribe